give a reason why there is no current through resistor RZ. Let's go ahead and take a look and see why there is no current through resistor RZ. The question statement, a battery of EMF 12 volts and an internal resistance of 0.2 ohms is connected to three resistors, a high resistance voltmeter and two switches, an ammeter and connecting wires of negligible resistance, as shown in the second diagram below. The three resistors have different and unknown resistances. Okay, the resistance of Ry is twice that of Rx. Okay, okay, uh, let's see what we can do with that. When both switches are closed, the reading on the R on the R meter is 5.5 ampere. When S1 and S2 are closed. Okay, then back to our equation. Give a reason why there is no current through resistor RZ. So let's see how the current is going to flow. It flows from positive to negative, obviously. So here is our current flowing. Uh, it just keeps flowing here at the corner, nothing special, right? And then our current keeps flowing, it keeps flowing. And at this point, when the switch is open, the current divides, right? Because we have two paths. So a proportion of the current is going to go down this path, a proportion of the current. And another proportion of the current is going to go down through ROI, okay? And then here, we start having total current once more. But at this point, we have two paths. One path is just a piece of wire, and the other one is resistor RZ. But we know fully well that the currents, the current want to take a path of least resistance. So because in that path, this path with our switch S1, there is no resistor, all the current is going to pass through S1. No current is going to go through RZ. This is what we call a short circuit. So all the current is going to actually go through our resistor, not our resistor, but through that path with the switch S1 because there is no resistance there. So that is why no current is going to flow through resistor RZ 8.1. What about 8.2? Calculate the resistance of RY 5 max. Let's see how we can do that. Um, so let me just erase this for the sake of clarity, obviously. Um, so what do we have? Let's take a look. We know that the EMF is 12 volts. The internal resistance is 0 0.2 ohm. What else do we have? We have the current when both switches are closed, right? IT in that case is 5.5 ampere. What else do we have? Let's take a look. Calculate the resistance of RY. Okay. Uh, we know that um, Rx, let's say that the resistance through the resistance of Rx is x. If this is the case, then the resistance of Ry is going to be 2x because it is said to be twice that of Rx. Okay, um, and Rx and Ry is what's giving us our external resistance because no resistance or well, no current is passing through Rz, so it's not playing at all there. So we can essentially say that, um, take a look at this, we can say that the EMF is equal to the total current multiplied by the total external resistance plus the internal resistance. We can use that. So we have the EMF, we have the total current, and we have the small, well, the internal resistance. How about R external? R external is Rx and Ry, of which those two are in parallel to each other. So Rp is equal to R1 multiplied by R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So R1, uh, well, let's make that Rx is X multiplied by R2, Ry, which is 2X divided by X plus 2X. X multiplied by 2X, that will be 2X squared divided by 3X. X and X cancels out, we are left with 2X over 3. This is RP, which is our external resistance. So EMF, we are substituting now into this equation. EMF is 12 volts. The total current is 5.5. And then internal resistance, well, external, is 
2x over 3 plus internal which is 0 0.2 okay uh, let's divide both sides by 2.5 so what is 12 divided 5.5 i mean what is 12 divided by 5.5 this is 2.1818 18 18 being equals to 2x over 3 plus 0 0.2 so let's multiply let's minus 2.1818 with 0 0.2 we get 1.9818 being equals to 2x over 3. let's cross multiply when i multiply that by 3 i get 5.9455 being equals to 2x so divide both sides by 2 2.970 is equal to x this is the resistance of rx we are looking for the resistance of ry so ry is going to be equal to 2.97 multiplied by 2 so let me multiply that by 2 i'm getting 5.9455 um, oh i should have just left it here because ry is 2x but it's fine i didn't see that at the time i was just focusing on uh, solving okay but that is fine we have ry let's do 8.3 um 8.3 what are we looking for calculate the power dissipated by rx so we know that the resistance of x is 2.97 ohms so in order to calculate power it's either we need the current or the voltage through x one between the two um in order to find the current through x the approach that i take i would need to find the voltage through x well the voltage that the potential difference that x causes so it's better i just calculate the voltage that uh, the potential difference that rx causes instead so how can we do that take a look at this in the external circuit this is the only part where voltage where there is a potential difference because rz is not playing any role so v external is equal to vp and is equal to vx the voltage that uh, caused by well the potential difference uh, caused by rx so okay how can we find v external well we can see that vx is equal to the total current which is 5.5 multiplied by the external resistance the external resistance is 5.9455 which is ry plus rx oh, well that is not the right way of doing it because they're in parallel so we should be using rp uh, so it's 2x over 3 um, x is 2.9 seven right so this is vx so 5.5 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2.97 divided by 3 let's see oh so this is 10.89 volts so that is the voltage there so the power dissipated by rx we're gonna then have p be equals to v multiplied by i so v is 10.89 and no let's not use this one because we don't have i yeah so let's use instead p is equals to v squared over r because we do have r so take a look uh v squared 10.89 we square that and we divide by r r is 2.97 so this is equals to so let me just substitute that in my calculator 2.97 i am getting 39.93 watt okay there we go that is the power dissipated by resistor x we are making some progress 8.4 let's hear the stories calculate the reading on the voltmeter what is happening when both switches are now open, the reading on the ammeter is 1.3 ampere. So the reading on the voltmeter connected across the battery, uh, the ends of a battery, 
it reads v external right and we know that v external ah uh, well there's two ways of doing it we can say that emf is equals to v external plus v internal uh, making v external the subject of the formula we get emf minus v internal the emf is 12 but we can find v internal because we have the current the current is 1.3 and this the internal resistance is 0 0.2 so we can just use this instead so 12 minus 1.3 multiplied by 0 0.2 this is 11.74 volts. So the external resistance has increased. Uh, well, the external, the reading on the voltmeter, yeah, the external voltage has increased. Uh, but that is expected because uh, the external resistance has increased. Uh, but anyway, that is 8.4. What about 8.5? Switch S1 remains open while switch S2 is now closed. So let's take a look. Um, S1 is now open. When S1 is open, there's no current that flows in this direction. So Rx is receiving current. It's now uh, Rz is receiving current. It's now taking part. Switch S1 remains open. So yes, it is passing through Rz. And then switch S2 is now closed. Calculate the reading on the ammeter. Okay, uh, this is six marks. So we want. Um, the current we want the current uh, let's see what is happening we have the emf obviously uh, but do we have r external we don't have r external anymore uh, i see that because we don't have the value of rz do we have r internal we have r internal um so take a look at this we have two unknowns the current and r external but we want the current so it is our duty to find R external first. R external, we have Rx and Ry. That which we don't have is Rz. So the question is forcing us to find Rz first. How can we find Rz? Well, we have the reading on the R meter when both both switches are open. So essentially, let's take a look at that case. That case will allow us to find um, Rz. Okay. And then we also have the voltage when uh, the two switches are open. So take a look at this. First, I'm going to say that V external is equals to I multiplied by R external. Let's take a look at what happens when both switches are open. When S2 is open, let me erase this first. When S2 is open, there's no current that flows in this path. And then when S1 is open, current flows through RZ. So when S2 one and s2 are open our external resistance is ry plus rz they are now in series with each other so v external which is 11.94 we know that from the previous question is equal to the current which is 1.3 yes the current is 1.3 multiplied by r external r external is ry plus rz ry is 5.9455 so 5.9455 plus rz so this is how we can find rz we can divide both sides by um we can divide both sides by 1.3 this is 11.74 and then 94 is 74 let me just substitute this in my calculator once more and verify 12 minus 1.3 multiplied by 0 0.2, 11.74. So right, this is 74 and then not 94. But nothing I take. 11.74 divided by 1.3, uh, that is 9.0308, being equals to 5.9455 plus RZ. So RZ is going to be 9.0308 minus 5.94. Five five. This is equals to three point zero eight five two. So there we go. We have RZ. So now we can work our magic. Switch S one remains open. So RZ is receiving current. 
uh, while switch S2 is now closed. So we have those three resistors now taking part. Those three resistors are now taking part. So our external, when the three resistors, all of them are taking part, is going to be, so we have RP plus RS. RP is 2X over 3 plus RS. RS is RZ. So 2, we know that X is, let's check, X is 2.97. So here we have 2.97 divided by 3 plus RZ. RZ is 3.0852. So R external, let me substitute that. 2 multiplied by 2.97 divided by 3 plus 3.0852. Um, okay, this is 5.0652 uh, ohms. So this is our external resistance. We want to calculate the current, let's not forget. So now we can see that EMF is the current, R external plus R internal. So the current is gonna be the EMF divided by R external plus R internal. Please don't do this in the examination. Don't rearrange the formula, substitute first, okay? The EMF is 12 as the same. R external is 5.0652 plus internal resistance, which is 0 0.2. So we have 12 divided by 5.0652 plus 0 0.2. This is 2.279, uh, 2.28 actually rounding off to two decimal places because we are at the final answer. Um, does it make sense? Let's see. Yes, it makes sense. I think it makes sense. So there we go.